Los Angeles, the glitz, the glamour, the murder. Thanks for tuning in. I'm the true crime queen, and you're watching Celebrity Crime Files. Today, we'll take a look back at the life and tragic passing of Steve Harvey show star, Merlin Santana, a young actor with a promising career whose life ended in the early morning hours of November 2002 in the Crenshaw District of Los Angeles. What really happened may surprise you. This is his story. Marlon Santana was born premature. At the time of his birth, his mother says doctors told her there was only a 50% chance that he would survive. But he beat the odds, which is why his mother named him Merlin after Merlin the Magician, because she says it was like magic. Merlin Santana was born in New York City on March 14, 1976, to Dominican parents. When Merlin turned three years old, he was discovered by a talent agent. After the chance encounter, Santana began modeling at the age of three in fast food commercials. By 1990, he starred in the play Hey Little Walter as Albert. By chance, comedian Bill Cosby was sitting in the audience. Cosby was so impressed by Merlin's performance, he handpicked him to join the cast of The Cosby Show. At the age of 15, Merlin starred on the hit sitcom where he played the role of Stanley, one of Rudy Huxtable's friends. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Stanley. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Mrs. Huxtable, Dr. Huxtable. Yes. And I'm Rudy Huxtable. And I'm ready to go. <laughs> it was very nice to have met you, Stanley. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> his popular character on The Cosby Show opened the door to stardom for the young actor. After his role on the show ended, he and fellow Cosby Show star Dion Richmond were cast as brothers on the show Getting By, with the Vernon Shirley star, Cindy Williams, and Family Matters actress, Toma Hopkins. Merlin moved to Hollywood and later starred in various other shows, including Under One Roof, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, and the popular character Ohaji on the sitcom Moesha. Merlin plays the love interest of the character Moesha, played by singer and actress Brandi Norwood. You had them notes from English class. Oh, yeah, I got them. Can I borrow them, please? It's may I borrow them, and no, you can't. Almost like that, huh? I'll be over there. You can't. I'm sorry. You may sit your can on my lap and watch me if you're afraid I'm going to steal your precious notes. <laughs> I, mean, I would sit in your lap if you were Santa Claus. <laughs> I would, and I've been real naughty. <laughs> in 1996, Santana starred in his most famous role as a teenage heartthrob Romeo on The Steve Harvey Show. Many episodes will center around Romeo's pursuit of another female student. On the show, Merlin shared the screen with Kings of Comedy stars Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer. Throughout the series, Romeo and Steve would develop a father and son-like dynamic on screen, with Steve trying hard to make sure he succeeded. In 2001, he played Jermaine in the film Flossin, and the following year, he was in the movie Played, a hip-hop story, which also featured R&B singer Tony Braxton. In 2002, The Steve Harvey Show was cancelled after six seasons. Merlin earned nominations for two NAACP Image Awards and two Alma Awards, which honors Hispanic performers for his recurring role as Romeo Santana on The Steve Harvey Show. Merlin made his final TV guest appearance on the show Half and Half in 2002. The show centers around two half-sisters, Mona and Didi, who share the same father. The two siblings live in the same apartment building and are completely unlike each other, which causes many disagreements. In the episode, Merlin plays an emotional recording artist who flirts with Dee Dee, played by Essence Adkins. I'm sorry, Shorty. It's just that the director's a hack. His concept is tired and the song is weak. But you picked the director. You approved the concept and you wrote the song. You're right. The song is brilliant, but everything else is whack. Hey, Mona. It's been 20 minutes. Do you need these? No, and I don't need you in here acting like a looky-loo. Now, her I like. Who's that? Dante, this is Dee Dee. Dee Dee, this is... No need. Everyone knows Dante. Are you gonna be out there? 
Of course I will. Well, then so will Dante. Okay, people, time to have a seat on my love. Pardon me? It's the title of the song, it'll sell, don't ask. Marlon and his friend, fellow actor Brandon Adams, were at a Los Angeles home with a young woman who identified herself as Mercedes, who Merlin met a few days before. Unbeknownst to Merlin and Brandon at the time, Mercedes was dropped off by two men, 21-year-old Jamie and Andre Gates, and 25-year-old Brandon Douglas Bynes, according to an article from the LA Times. Mercedes eventually left, but later returned outside the home with the same men. Brandon and Merlin later got into a car to leave the home. As Brandon looked in the rearview mirror, he saw two men pointing weapons at them, who then opened fire. As Brandon, who was not hurt in the incident, sped away, he noticed Merlin slumped over in the passenger seat. Brandon later flagged down a police car. When paramedics arrived, they pronounced Merlin dead at the scene. Damien Gates, Brandon Bynes, and Mercedes were arrested soon after. Police later learned Mercedes' real name was Moni King, and they discovered she was actually 15 years old. Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge Larry Fidler says Moni King lied to her accomplices, Damian Gates and Brendan Vines, by falsely accusing Merlin of making sexual advances towards her and also helped them get away after they fired at Merlin. Her accusation angered Gates and Vines, who later opened fire at Merlin, according to Deputy District Attorney Greg Dohai. Dohai said Monique King later denied the sexual assault accusation against Merlin. Judge Fiddler found Monique guilty of second-degree murder and attempted murder. In 2004, Judge Fiddler sentenced Monique, who was a 15-year-old runaway at the time Merlin lost his life, to eight years in juvenile custody at the California Youth Authority, which is now known as the California Division of Juvenile Justice. Brandon Douglas Bynes pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and assault with a deadly weapon in the case. He was sentenced to 23 years in prison. Damien Andre Gates was sentenced to three consecutive life sentences, plus 70 years, after being convicted of first-degree murder and attempted murder. Leah Santana, Merlin's mother, talked about the murder of her son. In an interview, she said, I feel pretty angry and disgusted at the same time and I couldn't think of a reason for why she did it. During an interview after Merlin's death, comedian and radio show host Steve Harvey said, this kid is not a gangster. Whatever the situation was, he didn't deserve to die. Why is it that young people today feel they have no alternative but to murder somebody? On November 18, 2002, nine days after his passing, Merlin was buried at St. Raymond Cemetery in the Bronx, New York. Marilyn Santana was only 26 years old.